countries and governments that we used to think of as at least to some degree responsive to the traditional tools of human rights advocacy, exposés, shaming, pressure from the media, that we see a trend of imperviousness, that they don't seem to care. They seem to be willing to, whether it's uh, al-Sisi uh, convicting 500 people for the death of one policeman, or Erdogan trying to shut off Twitter and YouTube, or anti-gay legislation, or solve a cure uh, in South Sudan within such a short uh, time span, going from being sort of a US darling to uh, an accused war criminal. In many regions of the world, we see uh, th this backsliding and this seeming imperviousness to the scrutiny, the pressure, and the criticism that continues to come. 